Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Drakmir, and I am working on a quest for my brand new, well, he's level 12 now, um, Ixar Necromancer. Uh, did not get rid of Orgul, don't worry about that, I'm still using him, um, uh, mostly for farming items for myself, but, um... Being the curious individual that I am, I was walking around, hailing everybody, and just checking out all the merchants around the Necromancer Guild, and found a guy called a mortician. And when I hailed him, uh, he said something like, get away, or whatever. And, uh, oh, no, um, I forget. Anyway, I really didn't know much about him. So I clicked on him because he is a merchant and saw that he had this coffin on him. And I looked up the coffin. It's called the Crusader's Coffin, I believe. Uh, I will verify that in the second part of the video once we get to where I'm doing the combine. But um, I looked it up and I found this, this whole quest. It's called Spirit of Golan. And all of the quests, except for buying that box, happens in Dalnir, which is one of my favorite zones in the game. Mainly because of the fact that there are a lot of items here that a lot of people don't get. Like, for monks, uh, when you get to the point where you can come here and maybe duo, this place has a lot of really nice items for monks. It also has a really cool looking robe for necromancers, which you'll see because I already have it on my necromancer. I came here specifically for that in the first place uh, and didn't even know about the stuff that, that, um, that I ended up getting. But what we're doing is we're on the second floor. You can see there's the pool room there. Right up there is the drop off. Um, and you come into here, by the way, this is a safe area. Um, I wasn't invising or anything, uh, hiding anything like that. And what we're after, we're after lumpy goos. There are two types of lumpy goos in here. This is called a thistle goo. And you know that because he drops the bone chip, which is lore. And I, you'll see, I have both of the bone chips here. Um, if you were to identify these, it will say, Crusader uh, Golan's Crushed Upper and Lower Torso. Now, there's this one. And then if we go ahead and calm this dude. And that dude. And then all of those dudes. And I think that's, we're good. Over here, and, ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> anyway, I'm not worried about it too much. There's this guy right here. This is, uh, this will also spawn what is called a lumpy goo. But that goo is called, um, if you were to identify it, not that I know if you can identify mobs or not, he would be considered the uh, carpet goo because he is sitting on top of two carpets. He drops the um, Ixar skull with punctured cranium. And if you identify that, it will be called Golan skull. All right, let me go ahead and get this guy off of me. And then you have finally, uh, after you've gotten um, all three of those parts. By the way, the only part of this quest that is no drop is that skull so i ended up having my level 12 um necromancer come down here and loot it after we had cleared out the area um so two two goos drop three pieces and then after that you have the fourth and final piece which drops off of dun 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 clyde the overseer <laughs> Now, for those of you who don't know about Dalnir or don't know about Clyde the Overseer, there's a lot of things that are going on with that guy. Number one, if you ever wanted to practice raiding, this is the guy to do it on. Uh, if you were to bring um, a group 
or three or two, whatever, level 30s to 40s, and you wanted to have a proper raid, that guy is a raid boss. Um, he procs a 500 damage AOE that fills, that is, his range is big enough for the whole room that he's in. Um, whenever we did this guy, uh, with myself, level 58 cleric, and Shix, a level 60 monk, he took us both down to half health, uh, during the fight, and we killed him twice, and what he drops is called the Shattered Crusader's Kukri. Now, there, when you, when you go and look up this sword, it says that it will identify as either a Shattered Crusader's Kukri, or it will identify as Golan's Property, I believe is what the other one is. If you get the Kukri that says Golan's Property, that is not the one that you want for the quest. You want the one that identifies as itself, the Shattered Crusader's Kukri. And the reason is, is because... Um, for some reason, they added two of them in. If you're going to put in a mob that is as hard as Clyde the Overseer in the game, and he doesn't drop the sword that you need every time, I feel that's wrong. But that said, we killed him twice, and we got two, uh, two of the Kukri's that uh, identified as um, the Shattered Crusader's Kukri. But yes, this is one of them. Uh, by the way, you'll notice that the only part that is no drop is the um, the actual skull, which I do not have on this character. So I can transfer all of this over to whatever character I want to have uh, have it done on, and and boom, it's you got it. So. The last part being that it is Clyde the Overseer. I do want to show you where his room is, but we're going to pretty much just do a run run by. Uh, actually, we won't. We're going to cut over to my Necromancer because we're going to do the completion. So what does this all give you? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go over that before I, I switch over to him because I, I don't know how long it's going to be before I get these items to him. But uh, what this whole quest is about is getting the Crusader's Coffin. Crusader's Coffin gives you a charge of, uh, I believe it's called Summon Golem, uh, Golan, and it is going to summon a level 25 Ixar skeleton pet. A level 25 that you can use at level 1. Um, I wouldn't do that, uh, but I will do that for my level 12. Not only that, but if you wanted to use it for fashion quests, you can do that as well. The quest is very easy. Four parts from here, one part from uh, the mortician inside a Kabbalist. This quest can be done by anyone who has invisibility because the mortician has no faction. And while he is um, on a floor above a necromancer... As long as you're not low level aggro, uh, or if you have sneak, you should be perfectly fine to do the quest, I would think. Honestly, I will have to check when we get on my Necromancer if the item is even lore before you do the combine. Because if it's not, then you can actually grab the, um, the container since it's a purchased item. It's not even an item that you are given. But, uh, yeah, so that is, that is that part of the quest. I am going to get out of here. Uh, I'll show you that because we're going to do, we're going to do the run of fun. Um, and I will, I'll show you how to get out of here pretty easily. Let's go ahead and throw Celestial Healing on. We're going to come over here and drop down. As soon as we drop, actually, I'm going to drop down facing this way. And we're going to go that way. There we go. We didn't get attacked, I don't believe, by anything. <laughs> okay, we're good. Let's go ahead and continue past this dude. We may be able to calm the whole way there, and I'll be able to show you everything. 
There's always a guy that just stands there. He never moves. Um, so just always come over. Uh, actually, you can't come over the other way, can you? No. What's he facing, anyway? Is he facing towards the room, I guess? I guess so. Anyway, you want to come to where this coffin is? Uh, or sarcophagus? Whatever you want to call it. And in this room, you're going to have a lot of mobs. Um, the goos always see invis, so you definitely want to get those. If you don't move. Do it there. I'm going to go ahead and use my AOE. Calm, and it should hit anyone up and down. There we go. Hey, guys. Okay, we're good. Looks like. Yep, we're good. All right, so in this next room, there is that skeleton right there. That skeleton is a placeholder for the, um, I think it's just called an XR Coercer. And he draws a really cool looking um, necromancer only robe. So if you, if you get a chance to come down here, uh, that is an item worth getting. Go ahead and calm him. And let me just check out mana costs for these things. I was about to say that is not a lump of goo down here, is it? That's 10 mana. Okay, good. And we're going to now go into Clyde the Overseer's area. If you come in here correctly, you should be able to catch these, these guys running back and forth and being in their, their own room, so you shouldn't have to deal with them too much. Um... Let's see. I have 140 mana. How much mana is this thing? It's 300 mana. Oh my goodness. Been wasting my mana on stuff. How much is calm? 50 mana. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and just calm these guys, I guess. And I'll DA through, through the rest of it. Actually, I probably won't even have to do that. And we're going to go this way. <laughs> so I don't have to waste any more mana. Alright. Should be good if I... Okay. Just going to double check. There was a guy who was dead here. Last time I was down here. It looks like he got his corpse. Or his corpse uh, got moved for him. So in there, Clyde the Overseer with three mobs, I believe. One, two, three. Yep. Four. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Clyde the Overseer, we're going to just run right past him as he probably hits us for 400. All right, so here we are. We're on Yog Sothra, and uh, we are at the Necromancer Guild. And if we head over this way uh, and go to this building right here, when I go upstairs, <laughs> let me go ahead and change views real quick. Uh, okay, there we go. There is this person here. Um, they are a merchant. I did not know that. And they sell necromancer spells. That's pretty awesome as well. Anyway, you'll see that they're up there. They're there. But if you were to sneak up here, you should be able to get to this guy without being detected by the person down there. Anyway, this is the mortician. Uh, if you hail him, actually, first off, let's go ahead and take a look at his inventory here. And this right here is what you're going to buy. It's 32 platinum for the item. Uh, if you want to be more precise, uh, there you go. Uh, but you'll notice that it's lore and no drop. And if you um, hail him... Uh, he has some really cool notes, so hail him, and he says, um, A mortician stares at you with hollow eye sockets. As he opens his jaw to speak, 
you are overcome by the foul smell of a thousand rotting corpses. What is it you desire, master? And you say, what crusader's coffin? And it says, a mortician speaks in a hollow voice as gnats swarm out of its mouth. Inside the crusader's coffin must be combined no fewer than three bone parts of the fallen crusader and his weapon. Close the coffin and open it yet again and ye shall rise the dead. All right, so if I did everything correctly and I got everything as is required, which is the Xar skull with punctured cranium, lower no trade, the bone chip that is the, um, the top portion of a shattered torso and the bottom portion of a t shattered torso, and also the Shattered Crusader's Kukri, which identifies as a Shattered Crusader's Kukri and not the uh, Golan's, uh, I think is belongings or something like that. Then you combine them and you receive a brand new item, which is called Crusader's Coffin and Summon Golan. This is a level 25 um, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to say. This is a level 25 pet that, uh, is, um, that will look like the mortician, an undead Ixar. Now it says, uh, Shadow Knight is the class. I wonder if that's what it's going to be. It's going to have harm touch and all that kind of stuff. We'll, we'll have to test it out, but... I don't want to test it yet because I want to get some items. I want to, of course, I'm going to put um, a mandolin in its hands. <laughs> I have a ton of them. Um, I loaded these by doing the um, the bard over in West Corona. And uh, also want to get, I'm thinking either the, um, the earthen blade which is a two-hander from the hole that has a 31% haste proc on it. I think that may be the best way to go. Um, but before I do all that, I want to grab my level 20 spells. And then I'll, I'll finish the video by showing the pet and if I can even use it. It says Shadow Knight, but I, I'm thinking this as being what it is. Um... It's not showing a slot it clicks from my inventory and summons it now the next quest we're going to be doing is one that a lot of people may know about but never go back and do maybe maybe they do uh, but uh, i found it and it is possible to do it on a character that is factioned with the right people and i will talk about that whole deal once i get to that point but it seemed that as a dubious wizard, I was able to at least get the beginning of the quest. So as long as I can get the items, I do not see why it would be an issue to complete the quest. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to show you for now. And at the end, uh, you, you'll see the pet as it is. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. All right, so here we are. We're in Guck, and I'm about to use this this thing, <laughs> the Crusader's coffin, and see how this this whole thing works. So let's go ahead and stand up. There's our pet. He cons red to me, and I have some weapons for him. Somewhere. Please tell me I brought the weapons. Please tell me I brought the weapons. I decided against waiting to get a um, oh my goodness, I can't believe. Uh, well, 
It wouldn't have mattered if I brought him anyway, but uh, we are going to give him a mandolin. I think I gave him a mandolin, did I? Did I not? He is definitely red as dead to me, so I'm going to tell him to guard. And you can see, yeah, a little tiny Ixar pet. I think that's pretty awesome. Um, let's see what kind of damage he hits for. So the max damage pet for um, my level is 16. 16 or 17. Uh, let me see if I can try to pull a single. If not, then... Uh, okay, there we go. But I tell him to back back it up and here we go oh 26 damage <laughs> it's gonna wreck a full um yeah now I don't know if he is dual wielding or not. He is. Oh, yeah, he is dual wielding. No, he's not. I don't know if these guys are. Well, these guys are kind of blue to me. Okay, I need to get mana, and then uh, we'll go ahead and pull again, but yeah, oh, oh my goodness, I need to take that out, because <laughs> I'm st this pet is going to be with me for the next so many levels, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you, this is, this is what you get, uh, Red Con Pet to a level 12 Necromancer. Uh, and he is now our tank hitting for 26 damage as his max. It's kind of nice. And uh, if you guys want to do that quest, I believe it is possible for anybody to do the quest. So, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out. Yeah.